You know, I'm very fortunate in that I have many pioneers, champions, and courageous individuals in our field that I greatly admire and have really guided my thinking over the years, one of whom you've heard me speak about on many occasions, and that was Dr. Herbert Needleman, a person who really is credited in discovering that lead causes a diminution in intelligence in children. And that particular association is a really, really powerful uh, discussion of uh, can you have healthy people in an unhealthy environment. And it really gives a case example to the fact that even low levels of substances, in this case, as a consequence of leaded gasoline principally, could have a community-wide effect on reducing IQ in adults. And you recall that uh, it was a very long debate and discussion, and, and uh, Dr. Middleton was vilified. And then more recently, in 2016, on June 5th, he was interviewed, or his work was reviewed, actually, uh, by NPR in a wonderful piece in which he was celebrated for his being the pioneer that led us to understand that low-level lead uh, exposure could have a dramatic adverse effect on uh, neuronal development in children. And that ultimately has led into the field of lead toxicology, which I call um, really neuronal toxicology as a, as a contrasted to acute lead toxicity, where you have anemia and, and, a, and lead blocks, uh, enzymes that are involved with the formation of red blood cell hemoglobin. These are chronic examples of lead intoxication having uh, functional effects on the nervous system. And then I most recently saw this interesting editorial that appeared in The Lancet. This is in the June 17th issue of uh, 2017, entitled Exposure to Lead in Petrol and Increased Incidence of Dementia in Adults. And the reason that I, again, kind of uh, rail up when I read these articles is that now we are starting to recognize the widespread effect that this low-level toxicant has on neuronal health. However, we never see in the citations of these papers any attribution given to Herbert Needleman, which I find a conspicuous absence, and maybe I'm, uh, my righteous indignation is railing up, but it seems that we need to go back and look at the courageous people that have made these discoveries that really change uh, that uh, which is human history and the health of the individual, and remind us again that it's very difficult to have healthy people in an unhealthy environment. So just a moment, once again, to celebrate Dr. Herbert Needleman, who um, is in the later ages of his life, uh, but whose work stands, I think, sentinel to us recognizing the importance, in this case specifically of lead, as a neural toxicant, but the whole theme of chronic toxicity and its in, uh, impact on both the nervous and the immune systems. Thanks, Dr. Needleman, for your work.